In this video, we'll talk about the resolution of a microscope. So what is the resolving power of a microscope? The resolving power of any microscope or any optical element refers to the ability to distinguish between two points as separate entities rather than a blurry point. So imagine these are the two points and we can clearly say they are separated out and they are resolved. These two points are placed very close to each other. Still we can say they are two points and they are just resolved. But after a limit, we can't really say that there are two individual points or one particular point. And at this point, it's not resolved. So the capability of the microscope to say they are resolved or not resolved is actually known as the resolving power of a microscope. So resolving power of the microscope is defined by a formula known as limit of resolution. So limit of resolution is a distance between two points of uh, point, uh, two point objects that are just resolved in an image. And it is given by a formula called d equal to 0.61 lambda by n sine alpha. Any distance below this d cannot be resolved. So smaller the d, better it is for a microscope. Let us try to understand the terms. Here the lambda stands for the wavelength, n stands for the refractive index of the media and alpha stands for the half angle with respect to the optical axis. Now if we zoom into this uh, particular image where you can see the objective and the image of this particular cells. So here you can see the wavelength use is green and alpha is basically the half angle with the optical axis. And n is basically the refractive index. In this case it's an oil immersion objective. So n is basically the refractive index of this immersion oil. Now the factors that affect resolution are the following. Majorly the numerical aperture of the microscope and the wavelength would affect the resolution. Greater the numerical aperture, better would be the resolution. So simply a 10x objective which has a NA of 0.3 has a poor resolution compared to 60x objective which has a uh, oil immersion objective which has a NA of 1.4. So better NA, better resolution power. Wavelength also matters because shorter the wavelength, better is the resolution compared to the higher wavelengths. So blue light can resolve better than red light. Anyway, if you see the formula d equal to 0.61 lambda by n sine alpha, we can simply understand from the formula d would be small if you have small lambda and large na or n sine alpha value is large, then the d would be small. Smaller the d, better it is in terms of resolution. Now actually the resolution or resolving power of the microscope can understand, can, could be understood with the help of the airy disc pattern formation at the back focal plane of the objective. So here is a specimen, in this case it's a point specimen, light emitting point specimen. So this point specimen would form an image at the back focal plane of the objective. Now if you look at the image, this point exactly doesn't appear like a point. Instead it's like a diffraction pattern where there is a central maxima and multiple uh, minima surrounding it. So this is like a intensity pattern with several concentric rings around it. So one can plot the intensity profile which looks like this and in 3D one can visualize, visualize this intensity profile like this. So the central maxima is the key point and this is basically the airy disk pattern. And this is really important in context of resolution. There is some term known as point spread function. So point spread function is a function or a mathematical formula that de determines the degree of spreading of an image when a point object is uh, passing through, when, when the image of a point objective is passing through an aperture. So basically a point should appear as a point when it is imaged, right? But due to blurring, it doesn't appear as a point as per se, but it appears like these diffraction patterns that you can see here. And that's exactly the point spread function. So Moral of the story, if these airy patterns or the point spread functions are not overlapping with each other, then the resolution would be best. So it's, see the first example. It is highly resolved. In the second example, there is quite some overlap, but still it is in the Riley limit, so it is resolved. And when there are too much overlap between these airy patterns, it is not resolved at all. There is a clear relationship between numerical aperture and the airy patterns and the resolution power of the microscope. So when we increase the uh, 
numerical aperture, that means when we go to higher objectives like 60x or 40x, the NA gets bigger. And that is why the uh, images becomes more resolved. Now in this case, we are not talking about a point object. Look at this particular image. It's a collection of points and it's not really resolved. One cannot say how many points there are in this image because the NA is 0.3. Now we are at 10x. Now as we increase the objective NA, that means when we go to 60x, now one can literally say there are n number of points in this case. So now it is resolved because the point spread function, look at the intensity profiles, it has become more crisp and sharp when the NA is increased. And that reduces the overlap of individual point spread function with each other. So greater the numerical aperture, smaller is the point spread function, or it is like more crisp then the limit of resolution d also decreases and the resolving power increases for a microscope now that is why the point spread function is the key thing to understand the resolution of the microscope if one knows the point spread function one can literally use those information to deconvolve a blurry image into a much more sharp and crisp image so i hope this video was useful if you like this video give it a quick thumbs up don't forget to like share and subscribe all our notes and flashcards are present in our Facebook page, Instagram page, and also in our website. All links are provided in the website. Um, anyway, you can support our channel using Super Thanks, which is a hardship icon with dollar sign in it. You can contribute using PayPTM, PayPal, or UPI, or net banking. You can simply scan the QR code and help our channel to grow. Thank you, and see you in next video.